Zara, have you gone insane? How dare you disregard my orders? M master I... Go on, ask him! Don't let him intimidate you! Master Takayuki, I've seen the report to the throne and the letter to the Fatui. Please, tell me why! So this is how my documents went missing from headquarters. You stole them. Should I take your words to mean that these documents were not forgeries? They were really penned by your own hand. Please tell me, Master. I need to know. Has the Tenryo Commission really betrayed the Shogunate? Hmm. <laughs> yes, I have dealings with the Fatui, and yes, the report you saw was penned by my hand. <laughs> he just came right out and admitted it! The diplomats from Snezhnaya promised a very generous reward indeed. And all they requested of me in return was to see that the Vision Hunt decrees upheld. For too long, the Kujo clan's position has been coveted by so many. There is no shortage of clans who would tear us down at the first opportunity. So, when the chance arose to gain the backing of another powerful nation and crack down on our enemies at the same time, it appeared to me to be an excellent deal. I simply saw no need to inform you, Sara. But you worship the Shogun. How can you betray her after all this time and act like it's nothing? Betrayal? How can you call this a betrayal? The Fatui may think they are using me, but the reverse is true. What could they possibly hope to achieve? When the lightning strikes in Inazuma, they shall fall to their knees and tremble, paralyzed by fear and trepidation. After all, none can contend with the supreme power of the almighty Raiden Shogun and the Muso no Hitotachi. Worship the Raiden Shogun herself, but her power is a warrior, especially the Muso no Hitotachi. In fact, he seems to be way too into it. But Master, what about loyalty? Ever since I was adopted by the Kujo clan, you taught me the importance of loyalty from servants to their superiors. But it's clear to me now that you wanted my loyalties to stop with the Kujo clan. So you were scared that I would betray you one day? You hypocrite! Preaching about virtue just to mask your own wretched selfishness! Selfishness? I am but safeguarding the eternity of the Kujo clan. I'm quite sure the almighty Shogun would be sympathetic to that. As would the former head of our clan. Uh, hate to say it, but his ego is getting in the way. If he thinks the Kujo clan is a match for the Fatui, Paimon thinks he's in for a nasty surprise. I've doubted the Vision Hunt decree in the past. I asked myself, is this truly the correct thing to do? Even though it goes against what I know in my heart to be right. But I chose to obey the Shogun. For as long as she leads the way, who among us is qualified to judge between right and wrong when we have not yet reached the end of the path? But now I realize that the path of eternity is one without end, while this path, it has long since been defiled by your selfish ways. So I'm going to tell the Shogun the truth about all this. If nothing else, my conscience will be clear. <laughs> Stubborn and futile. Report to the Shogun if you so wish. The Kujo clan's position is now unshakable, and nothing you can do will change this. The Shogun is at Tenshukaku receiving a Snezhnayan diplomat. A harbinger by the name of Signora. Signora? Back 
in Rito, Lady Haragi said something about the Kanjo Commissioner meeting with an arrogant sounding woman. <sighs> we should have known. A diplomat from Snezhnaya? Well, if she thinks she's leaving Inazuma in one piece, she's got another thing coming. Sara stormed off! Do you think she's gonna go barge into Tenchukaku right now? You can say that again! Alright then, let's do this! <laughs> <laughs>